Hello. Take a good look in our parking lot, people. Tell me, what do you see? Yeah, you look at these cars. GMC, they're made in Mexico. I knew somebody had one of them, and oh, it was a Chevy though. But in a, a new, apparently, new truck had to replace the rear end. That old Dodge Ram, that's a nice truck there, and all that stuff. And Dodge has got a cheap transmission. They end up going out on the people. My uncle had one made in the 90s, and he gone through four transmissions on that thing. And of course, he worked it hard. What I don't like about the new Dodge trucks, and you go to go from part to reverse, you hear a clunk. It's like and that's pretty wild, wild. You know, the old cars when you heard that clunk, you need the new Universal joints. Yeah, wanna be Americans? Yeah. They took the American jobs, moved them to Mexico. You know, we should teach them a lesson. Okay. We want foreign made, we're gonna buy Toyota. Hopefully Toyota got their problem fixed with the gas pedals where it stuck cause the car to go wide open. He would end up getting a crash. Some poor kid pulling up, parking his car in a parking lot and it took off, went through a crowd of people, you know, going to prison. So they post a look in, into that one to see if, uh, about getting the kid off because they found out he was telling the truth about the gas pedal. Yeah. My dad used to say he wouldn't have these Japanese cars shoved up his rear end. You know. And I watched this guy and on YouTube and when it comes to the electronics and all the cars and He's just about one of the best out there, and he's working on one, and he got one again with a stumble. He installed a new part, new cam, and all that, see if that would fix the problem. Well, he's still got another check engine light, so waiting for part three on that video. I think Chevrolet got you good with that Euro truck there. That Toyota there, they were good little things, but they had a problem with the head gasket. But all the new Toyotas, <clears throat> that all aluminum engine, I don't know if they solved that problem, but last I knew they had a problem with their head bolts. Aluminum deteriorates, rots away. So the threads become weak and the head bolts strip out. It can be fixed, but you got to take that out and send it to a machine shop. And they can recap re the threads. And there's a repair kit made by Cadillac. They use a fix and fix that with. But a lot of people they don't, they don't like tapping out bolts and stuff. So it's probably better off sending it to a machine shop. I think it costs you 30 bucks a bolt hole to get it done unless you got someone knows how to do it or you can do it good yourself and look what General Motors did to us you bailed them out Obama gave them the bailout they opened a new General Motors company and I think they opened it in Korea yeah your tax dollars built a new General Motors company in another country. Now, front wheel drive vehicle is really not the way to go if you can avoid it. Buy a rear wheel drive. That's the only thing I like about a lot of these pickup trucks because they're rear wheel drive, less problems. A 
if you find one a truck it's a stick shift you got a better vehicle than an automatic way less problems with that all this new electronic shifting and stuff and they say no people have a problem with not shifting right or not going into gear and all due to electronic <coughs> solenoid packs this country ain't for America anymore nope yeah and all the new Ford pickup trucks I know people have them they got the Ecotec motor Ecotec or Eco, yeah, Ecotex Chevy, EcoBoost. That's what it's called, EcoBoost. Oh man, those motors! I can get a few miles on them. They sound like they're going to blow up. They start making a lot of noise. Yeah. Start getting this loud tick 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 in the motor. Yeah, that's your EcoBoost motor for you. The motor before that was that. Uh, Oh boy, the Triton motor, and like I said, a lot of mechanics did not like working on that one. Yeah, your environmentalist Democrats ruined the car industry. Now you gotta have high-tech equipment and some of that equipment can cost you five thousand dollars and if you only work on your own car it's not really worth buying that tool back to example Ford had one that was made for Fords only but uh, and now these semi trucks these diesel trucks diesel pickup trucks Ford Dodge Chevy they all got a problem because of that death fluid system yeah yeah a friend of mine had a new Dodge truck and once he blew up the engine but they fixed it under warranty and after the warranty ran out it broke down again it was a problem with the fuel system and they told him oh it's gonna cost $20,000 to fix your truck it's only like a truck wasn't even that old and uh, lucky for him there's so many Dodge trucks had that same problem he able to got it fixed under a recall notice BMW <laughs> uh, the repair shop is uh, BMW staff for bring maximum wallet because repair getting them worked on is not cheap Parts are expensive. Same thing with Volvo. Probably Audi the same way. All you do is invest. Now myself, I like this little Jeep pickup. Okay. I think it's a pretty good little looking truck and all that. But it's a shame it only has a four foot bed. That's a joke. I just watched that guy in Pine Hollow. He's working on a Jeep. And they got to check engine codes. They're having a hard time getting rid of and Dealership told the guy he needed a new motor. And, and the guy working on that Jeep there. Uh, one of the best around I've seen as far as the electronics on the vehicles. And he... Uh, Got all that expensive diagnostic equipment. He fixed cars that the dealers couldn't fix. And uh, so he did this and that. And finally, it came down to it. He, did, he was trying to do it without replacing parts. And he put a new camshaft in, this other little synth, this other electronic device. And, Seemed to be doing pretty good just before he got done driving the check engine light came back on so did a part one and a part two on that vehicle well, I'm waiting for part three to come out and see what that is 
where the spinal diagnostic is. I know I did a head gasket on a Toyota once and the aluminum head, I can see where the cam wore down into the head. And, uh, yeah, they really screwed us over going all this computer junk. That's because they don't want you working on it. These politicians are, uh, they got their money invested in these car industries. And, uh, that's why they're pushing electricity, the electric cars on you. <clears throat> but Tesla have been having a major problem with their cars catching on fire. And how many people are going to be getting cancer because of all those batteries? You got a hazardous waste problem now. You got to special handling to replace the battery you got to dispose of them properly who knows they may not tell you you can't replace your own battery pack yourself uh which might tell you you have to take it to a designated place for that you never know i mean i know several guys can try to rewire the battery packs up for those cars because they understand it because of electronic knowledge but uh yeah, I know someone had a new Chevy truck and a nice truck, and it started smelling like propane. Kind of find out he needed a new rear end in the truck. He even had a water pump problem leaking. That low mileage truck. <clears throat> 